Hey y'all, this is Jess with Bless Your Heart. Let's decal a plastic water bottle today. We're gonna start out at Creative Fabrica, which has almost everything you're ever gonna need as far as decals and SVGs. And she wants a Highland Cow Bull. So this is the file that I picked out and I'm gonna download it. And then I'm gonna go over to my files folder and I'm gonna unzip it and I put all of my, my files into Dropbox. So I'm gonna save that over there. And then I'm gonna open it up in Silhouette Studio. I'm gonna size it to the size that I need and then go from there. Now she wants initials and a date. So I'm gonna do their initials and the date that she asked for. And then I'm gonna go to Word Market on my browser and figure out which font that I want. And that's the font that I'm gonna end up using. Once I find the font that I wanna use, I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup the entire thing. And then I'm gonna go in and group it line by line. And I'm gonna put the date in between both sets of the initials. Now's the time to go in and do any adjusting. If you want something bigger, if you want something smaller, if you wanna move them around, whatever. And then I go to my send panel. And these are the settings that I use for all of my vinyl. I put it at a blade depth of three. I do the force at 15. And since that Highland Cow's a little intricate, I do my speed at three. Now I'm gonna use HTV Ront, just their black permanent vinyl. This is supposed to be weatherproof, waterproof, all the proofs. And I put it in my silhouette, load it up, and then I let the machine do what the machine does and cut it so I don't have to. After we're done getting it off the machine, I go ahead and cut it into two little pieces because I'm going to place them differently and then I'm going to weed them. This vinyl weeds generally like a dream. HTV Ron is one of my favorite permanent vinyls. I haven't used a whole bunch of their HTV yet, but what I have used, I really dig. Now normally when I weed, I take out those little weird pieces on the inside and then I weed the outside. Hindsight, I should have weeded the outside of this little Highland cow and that would have made the weeding process so much easier. It is around this time that I did realize the mistake that I had made in not weeding out that all that extra around because all these little pieces would have just stayed exactly where they were and I wouldn't have to work at it at all. But you live and you learn. But that end result, super cute. Now we're gonna just place it on some transfer tape and I'm gonna get, like I said, this is just a little cheapy plastic water bottle. I am gonna wipe it all down with my alcohol and get my little cup cradle and we're gonna see exactly where we should place all this. These bottles do have that little seam that you can kind of see and they have them on both sides. And I'm gonna use that to kind of center it. So I'm gonna go in and figure out how I want this place because they do have that gentle slope right there. I think that'll work out fine for the horns, but I'm gonna place this kind of dead center as best I can. And then I'm gonna go down and burnish it really well because we're not gonna seal it. We're not gonna do anything else with it. We want that vinyl to stick as best as possible. So I am going a little overboard with this, but hopefully it lasts, you know, a few months for these people. Now with the initials and the date, I'm gonna go in and cut them into their own little sections and I'm gonna do my best to center the date with the middle of that little cow head because the initials are the exact same size. In my mind, that's gonna help it be balanced on both sides and we're not gonna look heavy on one side and not heavy on the other side. And I'm gonna suggest after you get it all placed, you go down again and you just rub all of that vinyl in extra good because like I said, we're not sealing it. And here we go. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.